everyone and welcome back to Sarah's Abstract Expressions. My name is Sarah. Today we're doing another experiment with silicone. We're going to see what happens when you put too much silicone in the paint. I want to see if it reacts any differently than normal. So I'm going to get you set up and we will get started. Okay, so I'm going to do two cups with this paint. But first I'm going to add just a little bit of silicone to each of the colors and fill a cup like I normally would. So the silicone oil we will be using today will be um, the Artist Loft silicone oil. See, Artist, there we go. Okay. So a little bit would be like two drops in this case. I guess three. because three ended up in the gold. So when I add my silicone, I tried not to mix it in too much. Just a little bit. All the colors I am using will be linked in the description below. Um, I'm gonna be, like these are just little, little cups that I found, the five ounce cups or- Give me a second. 150 milliliter cups. So I'm going to start layering these. Um, with pores, it's important to remember that the first color you put in is the last color to come out. So I'm going to put gold as the base. And then I got the smaller cups so I could actually, you know, realize how much paint I'm using because 8x10s don't really need that much paint. I don't want to waste it as much as I can. Add some gold. Like it's inevitable for some colors to touch again, but I can try and avoid it as much as I can. I do like the way it layers when I hit it off the side of the cup. Also, I have some very, very exciting news. I am planning on doing a collab with a couple of people. One person you may know, one person you, well, I'm going to introduce you to um, over time. I'm so excited to work with both these people. It's going to be awesome. I just have to figure out how to even do this collab challenge thing i don't i don't know yet <laughs> so that is that also i just noticed i forgot to plug in my microphone so i'm sorry if this sounds a little off um i'm, I'm not really sure uh okay so onward I'll do one more layer oh, i just did that but whatever Gold layers are a little bit bigger, but whatever. Okay, so cup number one is done. Ah! Sorry. Okay, sorry, brain fart. Now I gotta add a little bit more to this. So I've added three drops. I'm gonna add three more to bring the total up to six. And because there's less paint, it's going to be a higher concentration too. So it should be interesting to see. I don't know how each one of those, these are going to react. So. Like I said, I'm experimenting. I haven't done this before. Uh, the other news I have that is actually quite fun is Jeff bought me new shoes. And I love them. They're just very comfy. I'm very bouncy now. And he's just like, whoa. It, it was really the shoes holding you back. And I'm like, yeah. That's bigger than the first one, I think. But I don't know. I'm trying to mimic what I can see in the other cup here, so. Okay, stomach. Easy. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> I also have to go clean and do some stuff for my dad later. Uh, so I don't mind. I love helping him, like, always. It makes me smile. I know he can't really do much because he's he's disabled, so it makes me very happy to know that I can help him. Like, when he got sick, he got sick when I was really young, so it was hard for me to even deal with, I suppose. Uh, okay, blue, pink, purple. Wait, right? Yeah. Purple. Gold. Yeah, so I have to go clean his windows and just clean in general for him. Okay. All blue. Purple pink. <laughs> Well, considering how full this one is, I'm actually going to leave it alone, but I'm going to add more to this one to try and even it out a bit more. So you can see they're a little, a little off, so. I keep painting myself. So I have a little bit more gold. I really love this blue. And the purple. I'm a sucker for this purple. That looks about even. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone now. I know they're a little bit different now, but the point is to see how it's gonna react with the pouring side of things. So I'm going to shuffle these off to the side and I will be back with some canvases that have been whited out and gloves and all that jazz. Realize now I may have just kind of botched this entire experiment, but it's okay. Extra silicone. I know that much. The other one has some extra silicone, but this one's like actually extra silicone. So I'm gonna just do a puddle pour in the middle. Sometimes being shaky is going to be the end of me. So I'm going to leave that for a second. And I'm going to pour this one. Same way. Just... I'm just slow. So if you guys have any ideas for the collab, please let me know in the comments because right now I'm just so like, I don't, I don't know what to do. And I'm very shaky and it's making it weird, but whatever. Because I, like I said, I don't know what to do. I'm very awful at ring pours. I can do this and that's about it. It's neat, there's some natural swirl that happens just because of how shaky I am. So yeah, like, if you have tremors and stuff, 
It just adds its own little flavor. I made a heart. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, just... I, Because I suffer from anxiety, I, I shake a lot. Just naturally, my whole nervous system is just so... Out of whack, to say the least. Um, I'm working on it. I find that past like I've learned a lot about myself and how past traumas affect you. It's really neat. I read a book from well, it's actually in the New York Times bestseller list right now. It's called How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole LaPera. And this book, oh, I love it. It's not sponsored by any way, shape, or form. I just love how much it helped me. So I'm gonna torch both of these now. I'm gonna tilt this one first, then that one. Um, I think I should have waited, but whatever. I gotta try and like spin it so I don't lose the circles I've created. Oh, off that edge. Fix the corner after. Go this way. Drippy, drip, drip, drip. Well, I'm just trying to, you know, bring it back to where it should be. Yeah, I'm gonna dump a little bit more off. See if we can get that corner down there. Yep. There we go. When done. Oh, I dripped on this, but whatever. It's no big deal. Just gone. I can see a difference already, can you? This is crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Wow. They're both super awesome, though. I like the gold in the middle. So I'm going to take out these gloves. Retorch them. How did I... I don't know how I managed that, but... That's frustrating. All right. I'm going to let these be for a little bit and then I will be back with the wet flyby. So this is what the one with um, I think extra silicone. Yeah, extra silicone looks like. And eh, I don't know. I don't feel like it reacted too insane. Like, you can see all the cells, like, everywhere. I don't know. I think the only way we're going to be able to tell at this point is once it's actually dry. So, and this is the one with the normal amount. As you can see, it actually, like, selled out the way it, it was supposed to, I guess. I do love the gold spot in the middle. It looks real neat. So I will be back with a dry one. 
So this is how the one with the normal amount of silicone came out. It's very, very dark. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be this dark, to be honest. Gold's very, very prominent. The only thing, like, can't really tell otherwise. Oh, this is, this is kind of cool. I do like it. It's not overly celly, but it looks nice nonetheless. I know it'll lighten back up once I actually finish it. And this is the one with too much, well, quote unquote too much, but you can see the spots of silicone. And that's what I mean by too much. Like it, the silicone's a little bit more in the canvas, if you see it. I don't know, it's hard to see. 